Hey, what's up guys? Vortex here. So there is a known issue for those of you driving C8 Corvettes to where if you plug your radar detector into your powered rear view mirror, uh, this can actually damage the driver's side mirror of your car. And in this video, I wanna take a closer look at the issue to see both what's going on, uh, as well as what you can do to avoid this happening to your car. Now, when I first heard about this issue, this is pretty surprising. It basically has to do with uh, using a mirror tap cable like this, so you can plug your radar detector into the back of your rear view mirror and grab power from there. Now, I've run one of these in my car. I use it with a bunch of different detectors and it works fine. I've run it in my previous car and it's worked great there too. Uh, and I know there's literally thousands of people who've been doing this for many years without issue at all. And so I've been really curious to see what's going on here uh, with the C8s. Well, GM, they've actually issued a technical bulletin describing the issue. They've mentioned that the poor appearance of your driver's side mirror uh, may actually be caused by the installation of an aftermarket radar detector in the vehicle. And depending on the installation location, the aftermarket electrical device may cause higher voltage to the mirror. And then for any techs who are looking to diagnose this issue, they specifically mention that the tech should look for power cables added to the rear view mirror's wiring harness. And then when it comes to fixing the issue, uh, unfortunately there's no way to actually fix the damaged driver's side mirror, and so they actually have to go uh, and replace the driver's side mirror altogether. Additionally, the customer is gonna have to pay for this repair out of pocket because any damage that happens to the car due to aftermarket uh, electronics like a radar detector is not gonna be covered by the vehicle's warranty. Now, I'd mentioned this issue in a previous video, and I got a comment from uh, John Bagdasarian, hopefully I'm saying your name correctly, John, uh, saying that the issue is due to people actually wiring their radar detectors in incorrectly uh, and actually using the wrong colored wires. And so I did a little bit more digging, uh, and I actually found a good post on the Corvette forum from Jerry Yu. And it basically goes over exactly how to uh, wire in a mirror tap like this. Uh, if you take a look at the mirror tap, one end is gonna plug into the radar detector. Uh, the other end plugs into the back of your powered rear view mirror. Uh, there's two pins here. Uh, the red one's for power, uh, the black one is for ground. And he's saying that the trick is when you go to plug in your mirror tap, uh, you take the red power cable from your mirror tap cable and plug it into the red wire uh, in the wiring harness of your Corvette. And then you take the mirror tap's black ground cable and you plug it into the black wire coming out of the back of the rear view mirror. The issue seems to arise if you take the black cable for your mirror tap's ground wire uh, and you plug it into the gray wire in your Corvette. And so that's the trick here. I know it can be a question a lot of times when you have one of these, you know, uh, where do you actually wire it in to tap into your power, into your ground? And so for the C8s, uh, the trick is to just run the red cable here into the red wire and the black cable into the black wire. Don't plug it into the gray cable, otherwise you're gonna run into those, uh, uh, the voltage issues that GM mentioned in their TSB. Additionally, if you wanted to avoid this issue altogether, um, instead of using a mirror tap and plugging into your powered rear view mirror, you could always just run a traditional hardwire cable and plug it into a fuse box somewhere. It's a little bit more work, but that could be another option as well. Now, something interesting is I was doing some more research on this. It looks like there was actually an electrical issue with the C8 at launch that actually delayed the launch of the vehicle. Now, I don't know if uh, the issues that are arising here by tapping into the mirror are related to some of the electrical issues that the C8 had at launch. According to an article from GM Authority, the engineers uncovered a major electrical issue with the Corvette during the development process. And from what they could gather, the vehicle's electrical system couldn't carry the load necessary to support the necessary components. And for that reason, the engineers had to re-engineer the vehicle's electrical system. And they said that this undertaking would delay the C8's launch by six months. And so it's possible that whatever was going on with these electrical issues are also tied into tapping into the rearview mirror here. I don't know for sure, um, but it does look like there's something going on with the C8 specifically, and that could be why we're seeing the issue with the C8, and this issue hasn't manifested in other vehicles as well. And so uh, that's what I found so far. I'll put some additional links in the video description to more discussion, the TSB. Uh, and if you have some additional information, you can hop on the forums and chime in there as well. Uh, or of course, just leave a comment down here in this YouTube video. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video kind of talking about what the issue is, uh, what's going on, and how you can avoid running into this issue in the first place. And so, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in the next video.